Okay, so good morning from the current me. Um, it's currently about 6.30 a.m. and it will be a pretty long day of just sitting at the desk. So let's just start off the day with a nice workout at the gym because, you know, the goal is to be a an overly large big brain or computer scientist or machine learning engineer. So, everything takes so much longer when you have to record it, but I believe it's about 9.30. So, I now have to quickly take a shower, then make a nice uh, post-workout smoothie, and then we'll get to work. Okay, so I now just finished this first session. Um, I worked on this little project and I had to start a training because well, time's running, the semester's almost over. Um, so yeah, I managed to fix some bugs, managed to understand the code better and now start a machine learning training. Right, so it's now half past 1 p.m. and I'll now just warm up my lunch i made myself some, like chicken nuggets or something similar at least yesterday evening like and yeah two portions one portion is now for my lunch i'll show you what i'm gonna eat and then i'm just gonna sit back down at the desk um watch again netflix or youtube and then get back to work i'll then be able to work on another project that I actually wanted to be working on today. So yeah, I'm gonna give you the update on the next steps after lunch. I know food is cool and all, but yeah, before I get to lunch, I wanted to show you this. Isn't this amazing? This is the image. This is a little aneurysm. And this is the, the prediction of the model. You know, here's some false positives, but yeah, this is the ground truth label and yeah remember this is a slice of a 3d image so in reality it predicts a 3d 
output. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'll now quickly eat my lunch, watch some YouTube or Netflix, and I'll then get back to you. Okay, so now that I'm done with lunch, I will be sitting here for like four more hours and doing some work on the projects. Uh, I'll start with a meeting with two of my group members. We'll be going over the progress that one of them made regarding the same project that I was currently working on. Um, and yeah, I actually make a bit more detailed videos where I give monthly updates about the progress that we have made. And if you want to see those, I will link you up the playlist with those videos in the info card above. Okay, and with that said, in a minute I'll just hop into this meeting and yeah, after this work it's again time for food. I will go into the kitchen and get cooking. Um, and yeah, it's just work, eat, work, eat and then go to sleep. But yeah, enough of that, we'll see each other in a bit. We are done with dinner. So it's now pretty much 8 p.m. and that's the time where I pretty much every day eat dinner. I would again just watch some Netflix, watch some YouTube and then at about nine o'clock try to go to bed. You know, try. I, ideally I would then read a book or I would just have a call with my girlfriend or something like that. Today was again a fairly long day, so I'm pretty tired, even though almost of the day I just sat in this chair, but it's still pretty draining. So yeah, and yeah, I believe that that would be it. I think I will end this video here. I really hope that you could enjoy this video and get some insight into what a day in the life of a computer science student could possibly look like. This semester is just a lot of coding because I'm doing two projects and no like theory courses so I don't have any coursework or like actual homework. Um, I don't have exams for which, for which I have to study. So it has all its pros and cons. But yeah, with that said, if you want to see a bit more detailed videos on the projects that I'm working on, as mentioned, I have a playlist and you'll be able to click it up right here. And please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Okay, with that said, I believe I can now finish this video. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!